So I decided to remake this video because why not? This is called Repeat After Me, You Can't Save Them All. And this is about my day job. I have a most interesting job. I am a liaison between social services, probation, and families with teenagers. They're at risk of either going into juvenile detention or foster care. So my job is to basically try and get the kids and the parents to do what they need to do so that their kids don't get placed somewhere. So make sure they go to school, make sure they're doing their community service, or make sure they're not using drugs, whatever, the, whatever needs to happen. And because I work so closely with families, it's not a nine to five job. It's, uh, they all have my cell. They can call or text me at any time and either ask for advice or tell me what's going on. Like I've had parents call me and say, Hey, I haven't seen my kid for nine hours. I don't know where they're at. And I'm like, well, then you need to call the police. Tell them that they ran away because they didn't have permission to leave or be gone for that amount of time. And a lot of it is just trying to get the parents to parent, not be their friend, set down rules and boundaries, stuff like that. But at the same time, it's also a mentoring thing. So, I, you know, setting a good example, be professional. And in this process, I do come to care about the kids and the families. I mean, you can't really work with somebody and feel nothing. But at the same time, I need to keep a professional distance because, you know, realistically, they're not... I'm getting paid for this. They're not, they're not my kids. At the end of the day, they're not my problem. And... Sometimes I'm not successful in keeping them from juvie or or being placed out of the home because at the end of the day they make their own decisions regardless of how hard I or my parents try. It's it's ultimately up to the kid to make the right choices. And sometimes I have to remind myself, hey, you can't save everybody. You can do your best. You can try. But everyone has free will. As much as I would love to just uh, take a magic wand and say, here, now listen to me and do everything I say, that's not life. That's never necessarily going to happen. But uh, I love my job. It's It can be taxing at times, but... My hours are flexible and I actually have time to make art now. Whereas when I worked in juvenile detention, 12 hour shifts, I had no time. I was exhausted. I was emotionally drained from being on guard all the time. So this is way, way better. And it's, it's actually very interesting. And hey, even inspires some art once in a while.